request to perform the indicated operation and simplify. Notice for both examples, we have the square of a binomial in two variables. So while some textbooks do provide a special formula to square a binomial shown here below, instead of using this formula, let's multiply these out like we normally do by remembering that when we square something, we have two factors of the base. So the square of the quantity five x plus three y is equal to the quantity five x plus three y times the quantity five x plus three y. And now let's find this product like we normally do. To multiply two binomials, we distribute each term in the first binomial into the second binomial, which means we first distribute this five x into the second binomial, which gives us two products, and then we distribute the three y to the second binomial, which gives us two more products. Notice how we have four products when multiplying two binomials. These four products can also be found by using the acronym FOIL, often found in textbooks, where the F stands for the product of the first terms, the O stands for the product of the outer terms, the I stands for the product of the inner terms, and the L stands for the product of the last terms. So now multiplying, the first product is five x times five x. Then we have plus five x times three y. Plus, now we distribute the three y, so we have three y times five x. And then finally, plus three y times three y. Now to determine each product, Five x times five x is twenty-five x squared, plus five x times three y, that's fifteen x y, plus three y times five x is fifteen y x, or fifteen x y. And finally we have plus three y times three y, which is nine y squared. Notice how these two middle terms are like terms. 15xy plus 15xy would be 30xy, so the final product is 25x squared plus 30xy plus 9y squared. Now if we did try to use a formula to determine this product, because our binomial has a sum, we'd use this formula here, or notice how a is equal to 5x and b is equal to 3y. So if we did use the formula to find the product, the product would be equal to a squared, which would be the square of five x plus two times a times b, which would be times five x times three y, and then plus b squared, which would be the square of three y. Simplifying, notice how we do get 25 x squared and then two times five x times three y is plus thirty x y, and the square of three y is nine y squared. So of course we do get the same product using the formula. Now let's go ahead and look at the second example. So in this case we have the square of two m minus seven n, so we have two factors of two m minus seven n. Now multiplying like we normally do, we distribute each term in the first binomial into the second binomial, so we have one, two, three, four products. So we have two m times two m plus two m times negative seven n plus negative seven n times two m plus negative seven n times negative seven n. So two m times two m is four m squared, and we have plus two m times negative seven n, that would be negative fourteen m n, or minus fourteen m n, and then plus negative seven n times two m is also negative fourteen m n, so minus fourteen m n, and then finally plus negative seven n times negative seven n would be positive forty nine n squared, so plus forty nine n squared. Notice how the two middle terms are like terms. Negative fourteen m n minus fourteen m n is negative twenty eight m n, 
and therefore the final product is 4m squared minus 28mn plus 49n squared. I hope you found this helpful.